hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back for another cleaning video if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is Vantasia. i am a stay-at-home mother of three beautiful children and i post videos like this weekly so if you like videos like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more of my content So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be cleaning our whole house, but my main focus is going to be the kitchen. I know I did a deep clean, but you cannot just do a deep clean and then expect things to stay clean. So I'm going to be focusing on areas that I missed or areas that have gotten a little dirty since then. So yeah, stay along for the ride because I have some serious cleaning motivation for you. So if you like how these drawers look, I will have that video post in the description box just showing you guys how we organized our kitchen and today I am going to be taking everything out and wiping these containers down because they are really dirty as you can see. So yeah, I'm going to be using just some regular um, disinfectant wipes for that just for the sake of time. Normally I would have just put these in the dishes, <laughs> in the dishes, normally I would have just put these in the sink and wash them like regular dishes, but today I'm not gonna do that. So if you guys notice me rinsing the dishes and then setting them to the side, the reason I do that is just because when there's a lot of food in the pots, pans, plates, or bowls, just, you know, everything, I like to just rinse those off before I start to wash them because I am the person that does not like to touch food in the water. So let me know down below if this is something that you do or if I'm the only person that does it. So I did want to say, I do like to wash my dishes according to how dirty they are, meaning I like to wash my dirtiest dish last. So guys, the time has finally come. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing about it, but we are finally going to do this table within the next two weeks. And I am so excited because I feel like I've been waiting forever. So I love these chairs so much. My husband and I actually ordered these chairs from Amazon and they were fairly cheap. The one thing I do hate about them is that everything shows up on them and I have to clean them daily. Like I said earlier on in the video, my main focus is the kitchen, so I'm going the kitchen and the living room. So I'm going to be um, taking everything off of our countertops just to give them a good wipe down, and also wipe down the cabinets and the lower cabinets, if that's what you call them. I don't know. If I messed it up, let me know in the comments. So in a previous video, I did do a deep clean of our oven and what I did was I mixed vinegar and baking soda. I just mixed it together until it formed a paste that I thought was okay. And I just, you know, just cleaned the oven out with that, but I will be pulling the oven out and cleaning under it. And you guys look at that, that is so crazy. So I'm so happy that I pulled it out and I am getting a fresh start. So like I said earlier, since I did do a deep clean of our oven, right now I would just be spraying some Method Heavy Duty Degreaser and wiping it down just to give it a good clean. So 
so yes you guys did see the right i did pour a little bit of the method heavy duty degreaser in my water while i cleaned the grates i don't know why i did it it was just the in the moment type of thing so yeah that's just what i did at that very moment So what I am using to wipe everything down with is the Mrs. Myers um, Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner in the Scent Mint. And I get all of my cleaning products from the Grove Collaborative website. If you guys are interested in that, I will have a link in my description box if you want to check it out. Right now, I just wanted to give you guys an overview of our kitchen. Just to let you know, I know that this is a lot of cleaning, but Everything has to get worse before it gets better. So keep going. So guys, as I was cleaning our dishwasher, I did notice like some dried up soap residue, if that's what you want to call it. So I will be doing a close up so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I did have to grab a knife just to help myself out a little bit because it was really hard to get off and it didn't come off with just my regular brush that I use. I know it looks like our cabinets are very clean, but I promise they are not. So guys, I won't lie, this wasn't planned. I did not plan on moving the refrigerator, but I'm so happy that my Mr. Strong is here to help me move the refrigerator because underneath, it was so disgusting if you can't already tell. So I am so happy that I got this clean. Guys, I am so excited that I was able to clean this refrigerator because as you can see, it was really dusty and I don't like things like that. So I'm very excited that I was able to clean this today. Right now, I am putting everything back on the countertops because I did not forget you guys. I will be doing a deep clean of our refrigerator. Like I said in a past video, I like to do this um, a, bit, a lot, especially whenever we go grocery shopping, just to see everything that we have so I don't buy the same things over and over. So what my plan for the refrigerator is to try to get some organizational bins for the refrigerator just so I can keep all of our condiments in there so the door of the refrigerator won't get as messy and also we can just take that condiments bin out whenever we're making sandwiches just to make it easier. You guys, I love when you clean glass and it looks so clean, it looks like there's nothing there. I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, but I really love when you clean glass and it looks like that. I usually would have let these air dry, but for the sake of time, since I have so much cleaning to do, I'm just going to take the time out to dry these myself.
So just so you guys have a better understanding of what I said earlier, all of the food that was just on the table, all of that was old. And I'm so glad that I was able to go through our refrigerator because I would not have gotten those things if I didn't know that they were old. Also, I would like to say that this is the next day because we had so much going on after we got back from our son's baseball game, we just went to bed. So my plan for the living room, since there were toys everywhere, I just wanted to get rid of old toys that I knew my kiddos did not play with. And obviously I was trying to do that without either one of them noticing and they didn't, but it was still kind of hard to get rid of old toys, especially with London trying to help out. I've also been trying really hard to encourage the kids to do more cleaning on their own. So you will notice that in this video, I will not do Jaden's whole entire room. And also they will be helping out a lot. So laundry is not my favorite thing to do, but if you guys have noticed, I always have laundry to do in every single video, but today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips that I like to use when I'm doing laundry. So tip number one, I rarely ever sit down whenever I'm doing laundry because when I sit down, that gives me the opportunity to see everything that's going on, watch TV or talk to my husband or even get on my cell phone and then I won't finish laundry. Tip number two, anything that we have to hang up, I like to put that on the back of the couch and then put it on, put the shirts on the hangers at the very end. That way I won't fall into the habit of folding the t-shirts, putting them in the basket, and then never taking them out of the basket to unfold them and then hang them up. I know that that's, you know, I know I just said a lot, but if you think about it, it's really helpful. Tip number three, I like to listen to my favorite songs when I'm doing laundry just so I can stay motivated to keep going and get everything done. Hey you guys, I'm going to brag on myself for just a couple seconds. I had just enough hangers to hang everything up and that is so motivating. I was so happy when I noticed that I had the right amount of hanger. So this cleaning caddy that I have, I like to put the socks that don't have matches in them whenever I'm doing laundry. And then about once a week or once every two weeks, I like to go through them and just try to find the matches. So right now, my husband and I are going to attempt to shake this rug out. This rug is so, so thick and there are so many things in this rug that, you know, don't catch your eyes. So we're just going to shake it out just to make sure that everything is out. You guys, Jaden was so excited to help and it made me so happy that he was willing to grab our extra vacuum to help me vacuum this floor.
you guys i love our steam mop and the reason is whenever i have tough stains on the floor like this i don't have to do a lot of scrubbing and that is an a plus in my book So we are going to be moving the living room around. I do love the open concept feeling, but whenever the kids are playing in the living room and they get it messy, I feel like that mess kind of flows into the kitchen and then it, have, then it makes the whole house look messy. So with that being said, I wanted to just have our couch separating the living room and the kitchen just to make it feel like it's only in one room. I'm so excited because Jaden actually cleaned his own room today. All I had to do was make his bed, so that is an A plus in my book for today. His room looked very good, so I didn't want to go behind him and clean anything that he had already cleaned, just because I didn't want to hurt his feelings and make him feel like he didn't do a good enough job. this when I have a lot going on I am very thankful that I always have extra sheets for my daughter's bedroom just because I don't always have time to clean her sheets and then wait for them to get done sorting out all of my daughter bows her aunt actually got her a bow holder for her birthday and we are just now getting around to putting it on her wall and i'm so excited Pain I felt is paid for all is said and done 
So you guys are going to have to excuse my face as I clean my bathroom mirror. I don't know why I was making so many faces, but it's actually kind of funny now that I'm watching it. So my favorite thing to use whenever I am cleaning our toilet are disinfecting wipes just so I can go ahead and throw them away as soon as I get done. So our dresser is always a catch-all for us and I don't really know how to fix it but if I do come up with an idea I will share that with you guys. So that is the end of this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video.